three, two, one. Well, hello and welcome back. We are continuing our Python Django, uh, creating some roadmaps and timeframes. And one of the things we're going to do now is we're going to go in and, and add a little, uh, couple of nice little features here that we missed. This create roadmap, we do not have that uh, on our task lists. I'm sorry, our task task list. Um, to do doesn't even exist anymore, so we'll have to clean that one up. And also, uh, for our time frames, it's just empty. So let's move that over. So we're going to do a create. Uh, let's see. So we're going to steal that basically from the roadmap list. Oh, there we go. Roadmap list. So here we've just got a button up at the top, and uh, it's going to here it's create roadmap, and it's just going to go to the page roadmap. Well, we are going to go to our uh, time frame list. And we're going to put that here, except for this page is going to be time frame. So we're going to start tying some of this stuff together for us a little bit. Uh, let's see, to do, I'm going to go check that to do because that's now bothering me a little bit in the back of my mind. So let's see, so create a time frame. Whoops. So give us a button for that, and let's go ahead and take the same thing and do it for our task list. So we can get some consistency here. So it's going to go to uh, task and create task. Let's look at our, uh, let's see, go back to that. Where was our, oh, here's our page. When we did to do, so task list, let's just do a quick check. So task list, task list works, roadmap does, and home. Um, go back here, and I'm going to want a time frame list, which I'm probably going to get rid of to do. So to do lookup status matching query does not, oh, because we probably don't have anything uh, with our, which we'll have to fix this. Um, model does not exist because we don't have a short name here. When we do... Uh, this we actually went in and we managed to blink those out somehow so okay so if we go look at uh, that would be in our views let's go find that real quick uh, so we had that was in test so our short name is going to be edit task let's see where is that at there it is. Okay, so active tasks. So cancel is going to be CNCL and complete, I think, is COMP. Let's check that real quick and see if that is, if that is indeed the case. We may not even have those. Uh, what do we call this? We call this admin login. And so if we look at uh, look up statuses, we had CNCL and COMP, CNCL, COMP. So now, if we save those, we probably will be able to get, although it's probably still gonna be an empty list. Oh no, it's not, so we do have a whole bunch. So we have a whole bunch of active tasks. Okay, so we've got our to-do list working. Let's add to our, um, I put our time frames up in our model, or in our navigation. So we've got roadmap, we're gonna do time frame. So allow us to get to that. Uh, that was just going to be TFS, and we'll actually call this roadmap. Uh, roadmaps, time frames, task list to do. That'll work. So we'll keep that for now. And go in here. So now, oh, time frames is a bit big. So let's. Open that guy up just a little bit. We'll just do it this way. It's not the greatest way to do it, but now there we go. So time frames just gets a bigger button. So we come in with roadmaps, and we have one that's called annual for 2021. Uh, we haven't spent any time on it or anything. We haven't got a completed date. So now what we want to do is add, uh, create a time frame. Now with this edit roadmap, um, we could do our create time frame from here so you would sort of 
that you get a workflow essentially. And you could actually even remove timeframes from this. So you would go to a roadmap, you create one and you'd have like a, maybe a button that says create timeframes. And then here you would probably have somewhere listed the timeframes that are related to that roadmap. We're limited on data because we haven't done much with this, but we are going to come back around to that. So for now, we're going to keep it sort of manual. So time frames, let's go look at that create time frame. Um, we did, oh, because we said it was time frame instead of TF. So I can't go that way. I can go this way. And when I did the time frame list, that actually has to be go to page TF. So if I save it, let me go back a page. I'm going to reset it, create time frame. Uh, so now, so I can't constrain, I can only concatenate string, not date time, date time. And so it's running into this on, there's a date time related to my time frame. And so if I go look, uh, let's see, there's my three. If I go to my form itself, did I do something weird with that? It may not like the, that may be the problem, is it may not like the fact that I called it time frame? Nope. Uh, so this is internal lines that, let's take a look at that. Uh, where did he go? Internal line seven. Interesting. Uh, Oh, I'm sorry. It probably thinks that. So if I go to TFS in my URLs, let's make sure this list time frames. And if I go to list time frames, am I doing something weird here? Uh, let's see. Objects, all order by name, all time frames, time frames, time frame list. What's it complaining about? So in time frame edit, there's something that it doesn't like. So let's go look at time frame edit. Oh, I bet I did something weird here. Uh, form as table. Let's see, is that the right form? So did I set the form right for my time frame edit? Uh, edit time frame, data, form. So form is equal to the time frame form instance equal to the data. Data is coming from time frame objects request get ID. Oh, you know what? That's not it because it should be in create time frame, which is what I just pulled up. Not edit time frame. So let's take a look at that real quick. Did I do the right one? Did I do a TF? I think I did. And oh, this is in. So roadmap. Oh, sorry. So time frame list, it's going to go to page TF. TF is create time frame. If we go to create time frame, ah, we don't need an owner. Let's see, is that our only issue? Oh, we now get something different. It is trying to hit in models 20. Oh, Shoot, I bet I changed something here that I don't need to. Yes. So roadmap does not need. Oh, I have a start date. I don't need to string that. I'm sorry. That's my problem. If I do this real quick, let's see if that'll work. If not, we'll just yank that out. There we go. So we now can create a time frame. And this will be... Uh, Let's see, our period is going to be annual. So these will be our annual goals. So let's just call this um, overall annual 
goal tasks. I will say goals. So that's the name of our time frame, and it's going to tie to and see that we created our uh, annual goals. I think we've seen this before, but now we can see that this lookup's going to find one for us. It's going to give us the opportunity of whatever matches that um, relationship, that foreign key relation. And so we're going to tie this to annual goals. And so now, record saved. And if we go to time frames and list, we'll be able to see our overall annual goals. We'll be able to edit and we can go to that. Now, what we can do is we can go to our task lists and we're actually going to get some of this stuff cleaned up a little bit. And let's, and we're just gonna, we'll start with the existing tasks. We'll just edit these guys. And so let's give ourselves something here. Now see that we have a time frame here now because we added it. So we can do this to overall annual goals. And we're gonna keep this, we're gonna actually start creating some of these because we're gonna be working on this. So let's say, um, we're going to have professional improvement and uh, we'll leave it here and keep it very simple right now. So we've got professional improvement and we're going to do, which should show up somewhere in there. Yeah, there we go. Professional improvement. Uh, let's, let's see, we'll get our set one, two, three. So we're going to just complete these and get these off of that list because I think uh, probably not because this is on the to do. Yeah, shoot. So, well, we'll take care of those later. So professional development and this is going to be uh, personal improvement. Mint. And again, we're going to tie it to our overall annual goals. And we'll keep it new, blah, blah, blah. Good. Got all of that going. And then um, we'll do one more, which will be uh, health. And we'll call that health improvement. So these are the three things I'm going to, three areas I'm going to work on for my annual stuff. Uh, new, boom, boom, boom. So now if I go to a roadmap and I look at my annual goals for 2021 and edit it, uh, oh, it's not going to show me anything because I don't have, I don't have them listed. But if I go to a time frame, overall annual goals, then I can edit that. But what I don't have is what I want, is the tasks related to a time frame. So let's go with, uh, we're going to do this within the edit time frame because within that, I'm going to have, uh, I want to list my tasks. So let's add that real quick. So time frame edit is going to change, and he's going to get essentially the task list. So I can say, and I'm going to sort of play around with it a little bit, because I'm going to take the same thing now, and I'm going to flip over to my time frame edit. Here's the end of my form, and let's see. So the title is an H1. So down here, I'm going to do C. Uh, we'll do period goals, or let's say goals for the period. We're going to leave the create task. It's going to allow us to jump over to that. We're going to do task, blah, 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 blah. We're going to do essentially the same thing. No tasks. This will be no tasks assigned. This period. Call it this time period. Yeah. Okay, so now all we've got to do is we need to get our list of tasks. And if we go over to our views, so this is going to be on our edit. So let's go back to where we did list tasks. Uh, let's delete, test, test, list tasks. Here we go. So let's just sort of steal that real quick. And with our edit, I'm going to come in here. And now what we want to do, so we're going to keep task. We don't need the title. We don't need the parameters nor the return. So all we need to do is get the tasks. And then we're going to sign that out here to tasks. And it's going to be tasks. And we're going to filter. And this is going to be where uh, time frame 
whoops, equals uh, our time frame, which is our data. Because this is a time frame object, so we should be able to directly do that. And I think we'll keep our order by. So let's see how that happens. Let's see how that looks. So now, if we go to edit time frame, boom, we've got goals for period. We can create a task, and we can see the tasks related to it. So there we go. We have added some lists. We can do the same thing, and let's go do that real quick for our roadmap. So we're essentially gonna do the same thing with our roadmap. So where we do uh, list time frames. Let's see, there we go. And we're gonna come up here to roadmap. Oh, where I just saw edit roadmap. And so now uh, we'll give him time frames because I think that's what we called them before and here instead of all we're going to do filter and this is going to be where I think we called it roadmap equals data did we call it roadmap uh, yes we did so we can save that save that and now we have to add it to our roadmap view. So we're going to take our uh, time frame list, and we'll keep the track. Actually, we're going to do all this because we're just going to change a few of these things around. If we go to our roadmap, edit, and come down here, this is going to be an H2, and this is going to be. Uh, we'll call it time frames. Create one of time frames, blah, 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 blah. And I think we're ready to go. And so now if we look at a roadmap and we edit, we can see it. And then we can come to our uh, edit here is, oh, now because of our way we did this link, uh, go page is actually going to be, uh, we'll probably have to change that a little bit, which we put that in some JavaScript. Here we go. It's in our, where did we do that? I didn't think we added it there. That's a good question. Where did we put Go page. Oh, it's probably in our header, maybe? If we go here, yes, go page, window loca location equals page. And oh, we need to do, we're gonna have to add a, a slash in front of these. So if we go to roadmap list, he's gonna have to go to roadmap. Uh, if we go to roadmap edit, go page, he's gonna have to be there. And let's see if we go to task list. I think we're good there. Uh, let's do it anyways. And we go to slash task and time frame edit slash task. And complete task. Go page. Oh, here we go. That's a go page. Okay, so I think now we're good. So if we go back here, we do an R, we refresh. Now we're going to edit so we can see our tasks and we can edit a task. So we've added a nice little bit of uh, navigation now. We can actually start building out uh, period goals. But one of the things we don't have, we're going to work on next time, is we have these uh, we have these time frames, but we don't have a way to sort of tighten them up to, to connect them to each other. So for example, we have annual goals. We're going to be able to create which we'll do next is we'll have uh, first quarter and this will be a quarterly time frame and it's going to be tied to this roadmap but we don't have if we look at it we don't have a way to tie these two together uh, to show that first quarter comes under overall annual goals and we will tackle that in our next session so as always, uh, this will be day 31 if you're looking for tags for the code. And as always, go out there, have yourself a great day, and we will talk to you next time.